bug or feature you decide Like I said, you decide. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today my intention was making a, sh um, a video from the uh, Graf Spiel, but yesterday we received the update Alpha Strike. And um, right after the, the update went through, I played a couple of battles with my, my Atalanta Moffat setup. And I realized something. Um, they made changes to the HE shells. They um, had the uh, the fragmentation reduced in the past because it caused um, frame drops and uh, overall game performance was a little bit worse. So they limited the amount of fragment a shell can produce. But this has changed and they uh, r have risen the amount of fragments a shell can produce. In the change logs you can see actually a part of it where everything is explained and they said that um, the damage of the shell has not been increased but um, the distribution of the fragments has been changed. Um, as you can see here, projectiles do not cause more damage than before, but have become better and more likely to fully deliver their potential damage. That's exactly what they do. So, um, I think without knowing, Gaijin buffed the shells and especially the proxy fuse shells because how proxy fuses and proxy shells work they work with fragmentation so planes get destroyed by the fragments of the exploding shell so i went with the skr7 into a test battle and just showing you something um, so we are targeting the German destroyer there and then we are just giving him about 10 rounds or 10 shots, so 40 rounds. And now look at the ship what's going to happen there. It's burning three times and we are down to 37%. Now we are giving him here again a few shots. Oh, not even necessary. This is utterly disgusting. In a good way because it's fun. But I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Um, because I see people with higher caliber guns already complaining about the high power of explosive shells well, that one will all misses a few again and you will see how much damage even on that Köln class cruiser is going to happen so I mean you are not going to sink it the same in the same pace like you did with the destroyer but the amount of damage is horrendous so maybe it doesn't look very impressive but you should not forget we are in the SKR7 so let's return to the hunger and let's Make something different. 
USA. Yeah, let, let's take the Helena for example. So, test sale, and again, proxy fuse. So, first, let's go on the German destroyer. the sound. That should be enough to be honest. Yeah, I guess so. Three times higher. That's it. So let's go on the Köln. So and another salvo. You can actually see the effects of the explosion. Look, we're down to 18%. And that should finish him. Wait a second, now... Boom. This... Nine kilometers away, an Admiral Hipper. I didn't use single shots now, just to show you how devastating the salvo will be. Well, not as effective as I thought it will be, but it is dangerous. when you actually hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. So. so again, target on fire, down to 70. This is way too too much for high explosive I think the damage is way too high and yesterday while I was driving the Atlanta and the Moffat I destroyed an Ostfriesland battleship with high explosive from the Atlanta and I was kind of surprised so I started and tested and tested and tested and I figured out that as smaller as the caliber is as higher as the advantage they gained from this change. So the damage from battleships, for example, with a high caliber gun is still the same. And it feels the same. But from the small caliber guns, like 8 inch and smaller, I think they benefit massive from this change. Anyway, you can't decide if it's a bug or a feature. For me, it is an enjoyable bug, but we will see. Um, Gaijin is known for changing things that are too much fun. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe. Have a good day. Goodbye.